Sierra Brooks. I am 14. I go to Aspire Gymnastics Academy and I'm a level 10 and I've been doing gymnastics for 10 years. Mom said I used to just like climb on furniture and things like that, so she just put me into gymnastics, but I originally did swimming and I didn't like it. I did dance, so yeah, we eventually just got to gymnastics because I liked it a lot and I just stayed with it. I remember like my first gymnastics testing thing that I had. I didn't pass the level because I did my cartwheel on my bad leg, and I remember I still loved it. I like didn't really care and I just wanted to stick with it. I got to Aspire after my level six year. Yeah, I came when I was a level seven, and yeah, Aspire is just like a home, like family loving gym. It's not too strict, but it's not like one where you can just go group around all the time. He's super sweet. Um, she's always watching out for the younger girls, which is great to have, and, and some of them that's talented that she's still looking out for the younger kids. Um, but she's competitive. She can do whatever she's got to do to win, and that's the same way she trains in here and competes. She, she's looking out for herself. She wants to win, which is a good quality to have in this sport. I've known Coach Nick since I was eight, so since level four, so I've had him my whole entire team career. And he's a great coach. He's an amazing spotter. He is always there. He's supportive. He's good at being a good leader, like a dad, because I've known him like literally my whole life. So I can pretty much tell him like what I'm feeling or like how I'm feeling. So if something hurts, I'll tell him. And there's nothing like to like not tell him. So it's just like a good relationship to have with a coach. Her work ethic. You know, we've seen talented kids like her in the gym don't quite work as hard. She's the first one up, last one up, conditioning as hard as she can every time till almost in tears. You know, it's, she's got the full package. We knew level seven, she was a little, a little more advanced than the other girls. She was younger, a little more eager, so we made sure that we, we tailored her gymnastics to kind of skip level eight and move to nine because she had a little knobbly knees. She didn't have the greatest point of toes, but her skills were kind of ahead. So we wanted to get her to nine and 10 sooner where she could show off her skills where that would help her score and it wasn't all finesse. And then we knew the finesse would come as she was growing into those skills. Level 10 was definitely eye-opening because you learn you're not always gonna hit four for four, definitely not. <laughs> so yeah, my level 10 year was really eye-opening and it was more of just like try your best, see how it goes. It's your first year, you're fine. So yeah, and then I made nationals as an alternate, which was really surprising because I did not expect that at all. At all. My nationals experience, I enjoyed more this past year because I was able to compete and really feel like more part of the team, you know, that like you're contributing and it makes you feel good. You know, the, the great thing about her first level 10 year, it comes down to regionals. I mean, she was hit or miss for that year and we went in thinking if everything goes great, hopefully you can make NIT. And if it's out of the grace of God, if it goes perfect, maybe you could be an alternate. And everything went right. She hit the meat of her life in the craziest age group. I mean, it was the most competitive meet that I've seen in that age group and, and was an alternate, which was the best for her because she didn't have all the pressure. She got to go along with the team and, and see how that was with Region 5 without all the worries of competing on the team. And I think that helped her next year when she got to regionals. She kind of knew what to expect. She knew if she did it last year, she's more prepared and the meet didn't seem so overwhelming like, like it is. And it's a hard meet. And I think it really um, matured her as a gymnast. She went in as like a veteran and not a scared kid at regionals. So it was cool to see her grow and it definitely didn't make me any less nervous at that meet. But that was the growth in, the, in, the, in two years of level 10 was amazing. get a 30. So if I hit 4 for 4 and it's like a good hit, then I should be able to do that. Long term goals, make nationals again, not really long term, but then I want to be able to make the Region 5 All-Star trip. Selfishly too, I want to go on the Region 5 All-Star trip. But because I know she wants it, I want to make sure we can accomplish it. Court has taught me respect. 
So you know you have to respect your coaches, you have to respect the equipment, because that's the only way you can really get through. Because you can't be a disrespectful gymnast and have a good career because it doesn't work like that.